how to buy Cellcoin. Now, I've been meaning to buy Cellcoin since the $2 range and I've just been putting it off because I did not want to set up a wallet. Now, I don't know how to buy it and it's really easy to figure out. So first off, we're going to go to Google and search for Cellcoin. So here we go, Cellcoin. Celsius Network, that is the brand, and the next two results, number two and three, are CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. These are pretty much the same site, they just tell you the price, where you can buy it, and some other information. So I'm going to pick CoinMarketCap, and it shows us the current price of Celsius coin, almost $5 now, and I just keep missing out because I can't, and it just went up another cent as I am delaying buying this, and I have been wanting to buy it for a while, Ugh, and it keeps getting higher. Well, the trend is your friend. If it's going up, we're gonna get on this elevator and join it as it goes to the moon. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we'll see. Maybe the elevator will get too heavy and we're gonna come crashing down to Earth. So uh, yeah, let's, let's buy it. So right now we're in coin market cap and we're gonna look at the markets. Uh, it always defaults to overview so you can see the price. Let's look at the past three months and it's just been doing really well. It's uh, almost times five its price. So if you hit market here, it's gonna show the market pairs that are available. And the most volume available for this coin is on Uniswap V2. There's also Liquid, Bilaxi, Who, System Coin, but we want the easiest one. We want something with a lot of volume, so it's really easy to get those coins. Now I've seen Uniswap, I haven't used it, but I hear it's super easy to use and to get your coins. So we're gonna learn together. And I'm gonna show you my process of learning so you can figure out how to do these things in the future too. Coin market cap or coin gecko. The market pairs here, sell weath, sell BTC, sell ETH. If you click on any of these, it's gonna open a new window and bring you directly to that trading pair on that market. And now I'm in Uniswap and it says token imported. Anyone can create an ERC token on Ethereum. So this is just a warning. It just shows you the Celsius contract that you'll be trading for. Now you're going to want to check the contract address to make sure you're not buying a fake Celsius coin because that happens. Cryptocurrency is like the wild west. Anything can happen. It's really easy to make fraudulent coins, take advantage of people, and you always have to be on guard for that. So right now we're in Etherscan and we're looking at Celsius token and we have the contract address. So I'm going to copy the contract address. So now that we have the contract address from Etherscan, I'm going to go back to CoinMarketCap. And in CoinMarketCap, we have the uh, contract address up here too. So we can copy it and then see if it matches. So yeah, let's see. It, I guess the easiest way for us to do it here is we're going to copy the contract address from CoinMarketCap. We're going to go to Etherscan and it shows us the address there. We're going to hit Control F, make sure it's exactly the same, and it is. Now that we've verified this is the right Ethereum address, we can go ahead and do a Uniswap exchange for Ethereum to sell coin. So now we're back here at Uniswap, and now at the Uniswap site, we have to set up a wallet. I understand. Continue. Connect a wallet. So now we have to connect a wallet to our Uniswap. Now there aren't any accounts or login information for Uniswap. Basically you just connect a ERC20 wallet which runs on the Ethereum network and then you can control your transactions from there. There are several Ethereum wallets you can connect. MetaMask, Wallet Connect, something with Coinbase Wallet. Uh, I'm going to avoid most of these. Portmatic and Portis. Now, I'm only going to use MetaMask. I'm familiar with that. As for Coinbase Wallet, I don't want anything connected to my Coinbase account because that can introduce risk to my other assets. I would rather make a new account with MetaMask, send some Ethereum there, buy my coins that way, and then move it to my ERC20 hardware wallet. Now we're in MetaMask, I'm going to make a new account. So if you don't have MetaMask already, it comes as a Chrome extension, and uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. Look, it follows the mouse, cute. But uh, if you don't, you can download MetaMask at metamask.io. Otherwise, clicking MetaMask on the Uniswap site will redirect you to the MetaMask official website. MetaMask.io. All right, now that we're at MetaMask, we're going to get started and we're going to create a wallet from scratch. 
So now we have to create a password and we want a complicated password. And then after you put in your password, it's gonna give you a secret backup phrase. Your secret backup phrase makes it easy to backup and restore your account. Never disclose your backup phrase. Anyone with this phrase can take your ether forever. So now I have my backup phrase. I'm going to go into an Excel document and type that in and then put a password on that Excel document and then lock it up on a password protected USB drive. And the words have to be in order. So try to keep it in order. That's why I use Excel and I just go uh, cell by cell. After getting your secret phrase, you're gonna to have to confirm it with MetaMask. This just helps ensure you recorded it properly because there is no customer support when it comes to these wallets. You lose this information, it's gone. You lose access to any money you have in that account. All right, congratulations. You passed the test. Keep your seed phrase safe. It's your responsibility. Yes, there is no support. You lose it, you lose your money. That's why these types of wallets are very high risk and you need to know what you're doing before you start moving a lot of money around. So now that we're all done, we have our ETH account here. Now we're gonna connect our MetaMask account to our Uniswap account. Token swapping is here. You can now swap your MetaMask. Start swapping. Now that I have my MetaMask wallet, I need to fund my MetaMask wallet with Ethereum and then I can get the Celsius tokens. And I gotta go get my other phone because it has uh, my two-factor authentication codes. And while we're waiting, if you could help me out by hitting the like button and watching the entire thing and leaving a nice comment about how much Celsius you're gonna invest or not invest because you think it's too high, let me know in the comments because all this social engagement really helps this channel get more traction and more subscribers, more views because I want to make more content and it's more encouraging if there's an audience. Now, I also am not monetized yet because this is a brand new channel and I need a thousand subscribers. So I do need your help if you can subscribe. Thank you very much. So after I set up my MetaMask account, and it says account one and right over it, if you click it, it copies your Ethereum address. This is your Ethereum address where you can send ERC20 tokens to. Now I went into my Coinbase Pro account and then withdrew 0.3 Ethereum, which at the current price right now is equivalent to 219 US dollars. And I'm going to use that to swap for sell tokens. So now we need to get sell tokens. So now I'm back in the Uniswap page and it's showing me my wallet address. It takes a moment for the balance to load. It took about 15 seconds and now it's showing my 0.3 Ethereum in Uniswap. Now, if we hit max, we can see how much sell tokens we can get. We can get 42.6 sell tokens. Now I'm gonna go back to the uh, sell coin price just because I wanna make sure I'm getting a good deal. Oh yeah, I guess I am because sell token is practically $5 and the current price is 0.00676 ETH. And it's a little bit higher on Uniswap, but that's only like, it's less than 1% and it's not that bad. So right now I'm gonna swap my Ethereum balance for sell coin. I hit swap. You're gonna trade 0 0.29999 Ethereum for 42.6 sell. It shows me the price that I'm trading at. It says the minimum I'm gonna receive because the prices can fluctuate and they want you to know how much uh, things can change. And then the price impact. They're only gonna do this swap if the price doesn't change more than 0.01%. So it protects you as a trader. And then there is a fee for the liquidity provider. Basically, they're the ones that help all these transactions and put up the assets so you can swap tokens. And as I was talking, there was a price update. So now we have to accept the price update. And I'm just gonna confirm the swap. MetaMask. Alert insufficient funds because of the gas fee. The price went up. Guess, oh man, the gas fee is $8? $8 to trade these coins? Uh, I guess there's a lot happening on the Ethereum network right now because that's really high. We're gonna lower that. We're gonna lower that uh, to less. Dang. So at least uh, MetaMask is showing the current gas fees and the gas fees just help your transaction times. Now, 
if you pay very low on the transaction times, your transaction might not get even processed. So you don't want anything too slow. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go buy less. I'm just gonna cancel this transaction and I'm gonna swap 0.28 ETH for 41.16 sell tokens. So I'm gonna swap that now. Gonna confirm swap. Then I'm gonna pick my gas fee. Let me explain gas. Gas fees are how fast your transactions are processed on the Ethereum network. Now, the more you pay in gas, that prioritizes your transaction so things happen faster. And you want them to happen fast so you get that price, otherwise uh, things can change very quickly. You can pay the slow price for a transaction, but your transaction may take a very long time as other uh, transactions keep jumping the queue. It could be weeks for that to happen and uh, that that will happen if there is a lot of congestion and competition on the Ethereum network for people doing transactions. And when Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency market is hot right now, it, it could just keep happening. And in the advanced sections of MetaMask, it shows you can set the gas price to whatever you want. I really don't recommend messing with this unless you're familiar with it because you could end up uh, underpaying and then your transaction just gets lost if you try to pay too little and it's very difficult to cancel. So uh, with that, we're gonna pick fast. Ugh, gonna pick fast for this video. So hopefully this transaction can happen quickly and we can all see what happens when you do a Uniswap. Now I'm just gonna start from the beginning because I didn't reject that previous transaction and it was still holding. And now we're back here at the Uniswap page. We're gonna trade 0.28 ETH for 41 sell token. This price just keeps going up. Uh, let me switch to this other page. All right, we're gonna swap now. Confirm swap. And then it opens up my MetaMask notifications and I just have to confirm this transaction for it to proceed. Transaction submitted, view on Ethereum scan. Uh, just under transaction submitted, you can actually click on this. And then it shows that the transaction is pending and it will update once it's complete. And it gives you a transaction hash here and it shows the wallet. So it's a Uniswap V2, router two, and the contract address where it's coming from and my address where it's going to. All right, now that we refreshed Etherscan, it only took uh, like 10 seconds. The status of our transaction was successful. Now we're jumping back into Uniswap and I wanna see if it shows my sell tokens. It shows that we have a 0.01 ETH in here and we have a balance of 41 sell tokens. So that was a success. Now I'm going to withdraw my sell tokens from my MetaMask wallet and I'm gonna deposit it to my Celsius wallet. Now I have to get my Celsius wallet address and I have to be on an international network since I'm from the US as a US user just to be able to deposit funds to my Celsius wallet. I now have my Celsius wallet address so I can add Celsius token to my Celsius wallet. So to do that, we're gonna have to go into MetaMask and I'm in the MetaMask Chrome extension here. Uh, if you refresh it, it says swapped exact ETH for tokens. And I do have my tokens now. And now that we're at the MetaMask homepage of the Chrome extension, I can send sell to my wallet. Now I'm gonna paste in my uh, Celsius wallet address. New address detected. Click here to add to your address book. Yes, Celsius wallet. Asset balance, max. Send it all to my Celsius wallet. And then here again, we have the transaction fees. Slow, average, fast. I'm gonna go slow just to see how long that takes. I did fast last time, it took uh, 10 seconds. So we're gonna do slow and see what happens because there's no rush. I already bought the tokens I wanted and I'm just sending it to my wallet to accrue interest. It can take an hour, two hours to get there. It's not gonna make a significant difference for me. Transfer and Confirm. Confirm transaction, view on Etherscan. So now it shows me I have a contract interacted with Celsius network to sell token. Okay. And it was a success. Oh, that was quick. All right, I'm gonna take out my Celsius wallet and to see if that's in there already. 
While it's loading, let's take a quick look at Etherscan so you can kind of understand what's happening. So I picked low gas fees and the transaction fee ended up being $1.64, which is why if I go back to my Ethereum MetaMask wallet, I still have a little more than five bucks in assets. Now that Ethereum I can use later because you know, you always need gas fees or if I want to swap something on the Uniswap exchange. Oh, it's here, quick. So it took, uh, I picked the slow transaction and it took two minutes. Uh, yeah, save yourself the money if you don't need the transaction right away, it will show up. So I have Celsius and it's showing me that 41 Celsius has been moved over to my Celsius wallet from MetaMask. And I got a notification here, pretty sweet. It's showing zero, but it should refresh because we see the transaction history at the bottom here showing that the transaction has just confirmed. And that's how you buy Celsius coin with Uniswap. Uniswap is pretty easy to use. They keep everything very simple. You just have to be very careful with the addresses and setting everything up. You're gonna need a MetaMask wallet. Let's just recap what happened here. We wanted to buy Celsius coin. We looked at CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, basically the same thing. And we found out the highest volume was available on Uniswap. Then we went to Uniswap and we needed a wallet. So we needed an Ethereum wallet and we decided to create one with MetaMask. And then I went to my Coinbase Pro account, withdrew 0.3 Ethereum, sent it to my MetaMask Ethereum wallet, and then now my account was funded. With Uniswap, Uniswap allows you to connect your MetaMask wallet so you can easily swap ERC20 tokens. ERC20 tokens are coins that run on the Ethereum. So we were able to trade our 0.3 Ethereum for sell coins. And after the transaction completed, we were able to withdraw those coins from our MetaMask wallet to our Celsius wallet. And with that, I hope that makes sense. This has been Not a Financial Advisor Dan. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want any more videos on how to buy certain coins or trade on certain platforms. All right, catch you later.